This is Katy Bandar. One of Pakistan's poorest, most bleak communities. No access to clean water, no sanitation, but more importantly, very little food. Standing here, you are bound to hear children constantly crying from hunger and malnourishment. Even for Pakistan, a country with more than 64 million people below the poverty line, this is a shocking reality. But for the residents of Katy Bandar, this is life. स्कूल से घर आकर मैं कपड़े उतार के मुआ धो के खाना खाता हूँ फिर मैं जब चूल्हे की लकड़ियाँ काटता हूँ फिर शाम को आता हूँ पढ़ता हूँ लिखता हूँ और क्रिकेट दोस्तों के साथ खेलता हूँ जाफर इज अ ग्रेट थ्री स्टूडेंट एट द टी सी एफ स्कूल एट के टी बंदर TCF school at KT Bandar has given its children the chance to play, to dream and to explore all that our world has to offer. Niaz, a bright 7-year-old, suffers from a neurological disorder that affects the left side of his body. But he doesn't let his disability come in the way of his schooling. Without TCF, Niaz and Jafar would have been one of the millions of Pakistani children roaming the streets, losing both their innocence and childhood. To tackle this vicious cycle of illiteracy, a group of concerned citizens decided to take action. We were six of us and you know we felt that we were part of the problem if we were not doing something to solve it. And that is what really prompted us to sit down, put our heads together and see that what is a contribution we can make to improve things. Some of the people again who were involved with us told us that 40% of health problems in Pakistan are hygiene related. So if you can teach people hygiene, you'll knock off 40% of the health budget. So that's why we went into education. We didn't know at that point in time what, but we said yes. If the goal is large enough and big enough, the 300,000 children and 1,000 schools, that really looks something which people should take seriously. TCF believes that the quality of their schools must be at par with those in the private sector. TCF's founders ensured that their schools would be built and operated at the highest standards. Our target is to make sure that our students, our kids are getting the same quality of education which any other school, uh, private good school is providing in Pakistan. A normal TCF school would have a computer lab, it would have a library, it would have an art room, it would have spacious classrooms, well lit um, it, and it would have a place for the kids to play. My name is Nuru Sain and I am studying in the TCF school for 8 years. My name is Radha MBA. If I get a good job, I will do a job and do a job and do a job. One of the most crucial factors leading to TCF's success was the employment of an all-female teaching faculty. Having an all-female faculty in TCF is really beneficial. Because one, the parents trust females much more. Teacher training, teacher development is an integral part of the TCF philosophy and of the TCF program. We have to take our teachers through initially through pre-service training and then every year through uh, developmental training. We are trying to provide opportunities to all the students who graduate. So in partnership with Standard Chartered Bank, we are offering scholarships to any student who can get admission into uh, college. What we've tried to do with TCF is to attend to the quality part of it by supporting students, for example, who wish to aspire for further education. My job was because of the Citizen Foundation because my principal encouraged me and told me that I came to TRG interviews. तुम ट्राई करके देखो। Then मैंने वहाँ पे ट्राई किया and I got selected। Today, Kiran's mother has got her support in looking after their family. 
something she is extremely proud of. DCF has become a professionally managed NGO with participation and support from all members of the Pakistani community. I think there are two reasons why TCF uh, uh, is, is the one NGO working in education which I back and I fully support. Number one, they have uh, the whole management of uh, the way TCA, TCF manages its schools and the teachers training is better than any, any other NGO, well, certainly better than the government. Secondly, they have a mixed syllabus which enables uh, children from low backgrounds to actually come up and compete with uh, children from uh, English medium schools. The teacher is central to the plan and that to me is significant and I have seen the amount of work put into their training and their motivation and that is what to me makes the change and makes the TCF schools different from other schools. I think this is one of the projects in which it is so transparent and people can see the change it brings about in other people's lives so clearly and so forcefully because you can see that in a child's face. So I would urge the donors to help TCF as much as they can because this really is, uh, your money will really go to the right place and it will really go to help the future of Pakistan. The TCF movement is now fully supported by Pakistanis from all over the world. TCF's core belief is that access to education is the right and not privilege of every individual. Whether the young student carries on and gets a PhD or a professional degree or the young student remains within his community helping out compassionately people from the community, I think in both cases we would have won and we would have gone further in improving Pakistan and in improving the communities and hopefully this planet. I want to say that my husband and I are in a good position and I have been a long time in my life.